Hello guys, welcome to Technomile and today in this video, let's learn how to edit a photo in the post using an Adobe Lightroom application. So for that you need to have a laptop PC or a mobile uh, with a Adobe Lightroom application has been installed on that. So generally the photos that are coming out of the camera aren't that good to post it on the social media or even for the printing or whatever the work you might do. In order to add your own test to that photo, you have to edit that photo on the in the post. So, so in this video, we are going to learn about some of the basics about like how you can just maneuver with some of the basic slider here and there, and then the it can change the result of the whole photo itself. So let's uh so without wasting much of the time, let's get straight into it. So that's it is you know like this is the user interface of the adobe lightroom that you will see once you launch the cam launch the application so it has a lot of panels actually i have hide it out before because i need a little bit more space to work on so you here you can see actually it will look like this and you have this small photo inside so i need a little bit more space to work on so let's hide it for let, let hide it this panel for as of now so yeah so this is the photo that we are going to edit uh and we'll compare it uh, at the end of the edit like how was it before and how it got after so this is the histogram uh, panel and where you can see uh, and below are the informations that uh, in, uh, below are the configuration that was used by the camera to capture this image so for example i saw it was captured at uh, 24 millimeter of focal length and aperture of 4.0 and also the shutter speed of 1 by 160 so so this is the basic uh, uh, tab that you actually need to play a lot and only playing with this uh, tab can like, have a huge result, huge impact on your photo like it can change the way it looked like before and the way it looked after so you have to mind that so uh, we have this one at color temperature uh, so we have the color balance uh, tab in which we can change the color or, or the temperature of that image itself so as of now the white balance has been kept at as short and i would like to keep it as short because i find it uh, i find it good for my liking so i don't want to change it now but in case if you want to change you can slide this bar to change it to get it more warmer or to a lot cooler actually but uh, as of now it's fine and also if you're uh, if you're like pulling any slider then if you wanted to keep it to initial uh, position then you have to double click it then it will come back so <laughs> let's keep it for the as of now and exposure is the one uh, actually I find the exposure as of now is fine for me I don't want to play with that and also do keep in mind that this photo is not a raw image so it is a jpeg so i don't want you to play much with the contrast and all it's whatever it has shot so it's there but if you are using if you are editing in raw image then you might have to play a little bit with this contrast and all so my main uh, area of focus was this highlight region where as you can see the most brightest part of the region i, I shot this photo uh, while we were going to one of the nearest town and you can see that uh, it was a shot during the evening time and the sunset has been sun has already passed from where we were shooting and it was a sunset time and you can see the sun on the light sunlight only on the part of the mountain and as well as these clouds here so a little bit over there on the sky so let's uh, bring those highlights the highlights are basically the this portion actually uh, which is uh, the brightest in the image so you can see this part of as compared to as, car, as compared to the interior part of the car we will slide down the highlights a bit uh, not that much yeah this this much is fine so that we have we can bring more details in the sky and also the on the mountains as well here you can see uh, so next is the shadow shadows is the like the darker more than like a dark a darkest part of the image for example in the interior of the car is like more dark here so this is where the shadows will be and uh, we would like to op bring the shadows back a little bit but not that much that it matches with the highlights so then if we won't have we will spoil the mood actually if we bring it too much so we won't bring it too much just a little tad yeah that's fine and the whites is basically like the 
uh, whites uh, you're gonna in if you increase the whites then you are increasing the luminance of the white color itself like for example wherever the whites will be it will increase for example and also it will have effect on the whole image rather than just like a highlight and shadows where it is having only on the part of the image but here in the here with the white and black slider will have impact on the whole image itself so if you still wanted to increase play with this uh I would like to boost the whites a little bit because I can see the clouds are pretty white but then I wanted to boost a little bit more. Blacks are the same, they will have the same effect on, it will have the same effect as the whites but in the opposite, direc in the opposite direction obviously so if you pull that down you can see that like dark become a lot darker and the whole picture has a lot more cont contrast so we don't want to have that right now so just bring that pull that up a little bit yeah that's that uh so this is fine uh, uh it's fun. it's looking fine for me now yeah that's fine so the next is the clarity slider i usually use this one a lot of time like because in the landscape photography if you are using this slider then it will help you uh, it will improve your photography by a really really huge margin because this is one of the slider i will always recommend uh, everyone to use and you can see that it can change the look of the picture by itself by just using this slider only so this is really powerful slider but also you should have to you also have to know where to use it otherwise sometimes it can also spoil the image you know so it kind of adds more sharpen as well as contrast and details and everything it kind of is like it's everything so you can see like if we go to extreme then it's going to look a little bit kind of painting rather than photo so we don't want to do that we don't want that to happen so let's just keep it around 40 yeah 40 50 yeah around 50 is fine so that you have nice detailed highlights and shadows as well so the vibrance is where you can increase the vibrance of the color that a particular color that are there except the situations you know so that um, if you increase the vibrancy it will um, increasing it too much will make it look a little bit unrealistic so keep it around like 21 yeah that's fine uh, so that the sunlight is also quite vibrant also, as well as the skies also and also the interior part of the car so next is the tone curve uh, so the tone curve we will try to it will have the same as effect as the earlier toolbar did but then it will have have more particular like for example if I try to increase the highlight then you can see that uh, those in the sky that the clouds in the sky will have much more effect as compared to the earlier highlight slider so you can see that so I can bring more more details in the cloud so, yeah like this and so I wanted to increase the highlight of the cloud a little bit because you can see that the sun is also hit uh, also passing through this cloud so we wanted to make that a uh, feel so that's why if you increase this by a slight yeah that's fine that's looking fine and also that we can also uh, increase that lighting of that to give it a little bit more kind of a and you can give more light to the picture using this light slight light uh, toolbar and then darks so like uh, I would make it a little bit more dark push a little bit more darker side so that uh, the picture overall mood of the picture will still remain the same so because we have increased the light here so now we'll also like to pull the shadows a little bit because interior of the car is actually quite dark uh, to my liking so i will just put it a little bit till 27 that's fine so that's it uh, we have actually uh, played with two uh, toolbars now so next is the HSL curve or the HSL toolbar where you will be changing the hue and saturation and the luminance of each and every so this is the so this is the tool in which you can play with each and every uh, color individual color and you can change the hue saturation and luminance of each and every color so this step I usually play with a lot because I like uh, a lot so for example as you can see the sun uh, sunset uh, sun uh, light over here is quite uh, yellowish but then when I saw it through my eyes it was a little more, more warmer than that so I would pull the so I will select the orange color here and um, and pull that towards a little bit more red yeah so you can see the change before and after like 
see yeah that much is enough and uh, around 10 minus 10 is fine the, we are pulling the uh, uh, hue of this orange color towards red and then we'll increase the saturation of the uh, not too much uh, then it will look like a fire not that too much uh, mm, this much is fine and then increase the luminosity luminance of the uh, so luminance is basically the light so the brightness of the uh, color that uh, we are trying to edit so let's bring the luminance a bit so that it's visible from here yeah that's fine and also you can see the uh, skies is, is we have a blue in the sky so we wanted to edit that one and change the color of the sky a little bit so let's go to the blue and if you can see that it can change if you change the hue of the blue then you can change the whole image itself like it's turning to more kind of a sand which we don't like uh, keep the hue as we won't touch it uh, we'll just play with the saturation a bit yeah increase the saturation to 28 is fine and then luminance I'll set a bit yeah and also the between the green and the blues we have the aqua la color we can as the most of the times the as you can see while moving the slider you can see the effect of the aqua and yeah you can see that the sky is a lot natural when we increase that aqua hue towards the bluer side so and also increase the saturation a bit and the luminance also you can see that you can bring back details here if you increase the luminance of the aqua here yeah around that as much is fine so that's uh, pretty much it and then we will also try to play with the purple because inside the car we wanted to change the mood a little bit and also you can see that um, so it is yes now you can see that if we uh, change the hues of the purple towards the blue side and you can see that it's changing a lot um, but we don't want to that happen towards that bluer side rather than it's let's try to bring that to a little bit purplish side yeah and then saturation of that a little bit mm, yeah that's pretty much it I think and try to and also the magenta let's try to play with the magenta we don't have to actually it's not going to have that much of an effect so next uh, next bar next uh, next toolbar is uh, the split toning so we will we can add uh, different uh, tone to the highlights and uh, shadows so differently and then we can balance in between to have a uniform look so in the highlight region that is the this part actually uh, we will add a little bit more warm we'll make it a little bit more warmer so that because the sun sun uh, light is over there so it it will be a little bit more warmer compared to this part of the image so yeah that looks fine and then in the shadow region we will try to add a little bit of bluish tone like uh, yeah not that much yeah it's fine blue so that we have a cool effect or cool mood in the shadow so that's fine so you can if you are not uh, especially this split, uh, split toning is like a personal test you can edit to your own test for example I like this one a lot better than before so my personal test is like this and some other might have different tests so you can adjust that to your own liking yeah so that I'm trying to balance this one so the, if you move the ba balance slider you can chip between the highlight and shadow so you want it to be more towards the shadow side yeah 41 is enough for me so that is so that is it you know so and this uh, bar so this toolbar we are not going to play because this photo is shot in jpeg format so most of the things are already uh, done in the camera itself so we don't have to do if you are shooting in the uh, raw then you have to do the lens correction and or uh, and uh, transformation and details and everything but uh, as of now we won't go for that and then at the last part is this camera calibra calibration and this toolbar is quite uh, effective as well and at the end you can play with this green, green red and a blue uh, primary 
to actually change the mood of the picture once again but uh, I think it's as, f as of now it's like as you can see like you can change the mood of the picture but for my liking I think this one looks quite better that better and but you can change the saturation of the blue a little bit yeah so that is it so yeah after playing with this uh, sliders uh, we can see that uh, we have got this final result right now so let's try to compare with uh, the way it was before and after so uh, so you can see the difference between that as it was before and after and, uh, before it had like uh, in the highlight it wasn't have that much of detail between the clouds mountain and also the sunset was quite not that as vibrant as as it is right now so so and also the interior of the car has kind of a not that kind of a mood as compared to this one is when in which we have kind of a little bit of a uh, cooler look and on the highlights we have quite warmer so and it's kind of blending well so uh, so individual have a different test for their own editing stuff but uh this is what i have uh so now you have seen like with just playing with the, some of the basic slider can have a drastic effect on the, your photo so in order to obtain this kind of effect uh, you have to practice a lot you know like whatever kind of a different try to practice with the different kind of the photos like uh, this was quite basic you know like where we have tried to obtain the details in the shadows and as well try to obtain the sh try to obtain the details in the highlight and then bring back the shadows a little bit and then just have a mood and increase the colors a little bit here and there so this is uh, generally my uh, workflow with my landscape uh, photos i uh, usually just go and play with some of the basic slider and it can have a drastic effect on your photo but then each uh, workflow will not be same as this like for different photos there will be different workflows like in which some of the photo demands like uh, to play with the graduate with filter even the pen brush and all and you can play with uh, different settings and you have to spend a lot of amount of time in editing some of the different photos so this was quite basic and and also i'm not a professional photographer so whatever i have learned i have done it from the youtube and that's why i'm trying to give whatever i have learned to others as well so that they can also learn from here so it's it's more like a learning uh, environment in the youtube itself so uh if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then please do subscribe for more video like this as i will be coming up with more tutorials about the how to edit the photos and uh, and that's it in this video so i hope to see you soon in my next video till then stay tuned